Hello everyone, it's Sasha here and today I'll be sharing a funny and embarrassing story with you. Zombie Apocalypse. Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. Today's video will be on a funny life story that happened to me a few years ago. I was in fact in year 5, which meant I was around 9 to 10 years old. Feel free to take the mick out of me after I share this very embarrassing video with you. Before I get into the story, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Let's try to hit 15 likes today. Anyway, on with the story. So back when I was in year 5, I was in a different school as I was in junior school, which is like middle school I think for you American viewers out there. I had fun at my junior school, many good things happened to me whilst being a student, but some not so good things happened to me, but you know, that's not important for this video. So I had this friend, I'm not going to say his name, just in case he doesn't want me to, but we were very, um, how do I put this, unique, I would say. Um, we really wanted to do things to make people laugh because that's just what we were like. We both were into music and we were both quite talented with it to be honest. By the way, if you'd like to see me make a video or tutorial for guitar and or keyboard just leave it down in the comments you know, I want to hear your suggestions for future videos as I want to do what is best for you. So one day, if I remember right, it was raining outside because you know, British weather. And um, Back in my junior school, if it was raining during our break time, depending on how bad it was, we had to stay in. This just happened to be on one of them days, so we were sat at a table and we were just having a normal conversation about football or something until somebody came up to me and asked me to play a song on my guitar for them. So I thought, you know, why not? So after playing the guitar, I realised that the whole class was silent just watching me. At first I thought they were in shock, I thought I made a mistake or something, but they all cheered me and a few people suggested that I should make up a song. I thought this wasn't a bad idea to be honest and I spoke to my friend and for many weeks we were trying to make up a song but we just couldn't find one that was right, everything just didn't sound right. Until then he suggested we should just make a parody. So after that we tried to find a song or a group of artists that we could get our inspiration from. We went through many artists and their songs but the songs weren't good enough in my opinion. But back then, because it was quite a while ago, I was a fan of the group LMFAO, which some of you may have heard of, or maybe you remember them yourself. They made songs like Party Rock Anthem and Sorry for Party Rockin', which I loved back then. We just couldn't find any songs, so we used a song from LMFAO, which you should have heard of, called I'm Sexy and I Know It. We spent a few days analysing the song, picking things out, adding changes, you know, doing things around the song, that's what happens when making a parody of a song really. So while editing the lyrics of the song we decided that we were going to perform it to the class. This obviously meant we had to alter our lyrics and word choice even more than what we originally were going to do. We kinda tried to keep our project secret and make it a pleasant surprise for the class when we officially announced the performance. Some people though found out and remembered, but there's only a small minority, so we didn't really care or worry about that. It was taking us a while to produce the final song, but it was very good to be honest. I can't remember the lyrics off the top of my head right now, but it was good. And it was taking too long, so we decided to perform it to the class within the next week. During that time, before our final performance, we made a logo for our group, which I can't remember the name for. But basically, every Wednesday at school, we had this thing called class assemblies, which was basically a sort section of the day where we would watch the news, share our stories with the rest of the class, etc. You know, that sort of stuff. Show and tell, really. This was the perfect time, in our opinion, to perform our somewhat masterpiece of a song. I literally remember standing with my friend in front of the whole class with 60 eyeballs, you know, because people have two eyeballs. Literally 60 eyeballs were staring at us, expecting some Justin Bieber or some It Has performance. But I remember that I wasn't that scared as I didn't really have stage fright or anything and I was pretty confident. 
So I wasn't scared at all. It was then at the worst moment possible I realised that we didn't come up with the dance, which meant either we were going to have to stand still and look like a bunch of mugs while singing, or we were going to have to make it up as we went along. We obviously made it up as we went along, but yeah. So after a very cringy performance with some very, very cringy dancing that looks similar to this. Once we finished, I was just done. People laughed their heads off and they loved it, but that day has officially scarred me for life. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, like this video, subscribe if you're new, and if we hit 15 likes on this video, I'll go back to school and perform it and also post it on YouTube. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, and have fun. Yeah.